Krebs cycle is very important cycle. The Krebs cycle named in honor of the Krebs, Hans Krebs, who worked out the intermediate step in this pathway, also known as the citric acid cycle or tricarboxylic acid cycle, is the second of the three pathways involved in the fuel catabolism and ATB production. It utilizes the molecules, molecular fragments formed during the carbohydrate, protein, and fat breakdown, and it produces carbon dioxide, hydrogen atoms bound to coenzyme and small amounts of ATP. The enzyme for this pathway are located in the mitochondria. Most of these enzymes are soluble enzymes in the inner mitochondrial compounds. The primary molecule entering at the beginning of the Krebs cycle is acetyl coenzyme A. Coenzyme A, a precursor of acetyl coenzyme A is derived from the B vitamin pentothenic acid and its primary functions is to transfer the two carbon acid carbon acetyl group from one molecule to another this acetyl group comes either from pyruvate which we which as we have just seen in the end product of glycolysis or from the breakdown of the fatty acids and some amino acids as we shall see in the later section pyruvate upon entering mitochondria from the cytosol undergoes the following reaction to produce acetyl coenzyme A. Pyruvate plus coenzyme A plus NAD ion is equal to acetyl CoA plus CO2 plus NADH plus H ion. Pyruvate, this is pyruvate. plus coenzyme A plus NAD ion is equal to acetyl coenzyme a plus CO2 plus plus carbon dioxide plus NADH plus hydrogen ion. Pyruvate plus coenzyme A plus NAD ion is equal to is react acetyl coenzyme A plus carbon dioxide plus NADH plus hydrogen ion. Here in this equation hydrogen ion released co pyruvate plus coenzyme A plus NAD ion reacts and make acetyl coenzyme A and produce carbon dioxide and a TH and a DH plus hydrogen ion. Note that this reaction produced the first molecule of carbon dioxide. <coughs> we have seen formed thus for in the pathway of fuel catabolism and that hydrogen atoms have been transferred to NAD.
hydrogen atoms transfer to nad hydrogen ion these are the hydrogen ion can transfer to nad this is the hydrogen ion with nad we will make use of this later later fact later the krebs cycle begins with the transfer of acetyl group of acetyl coenzyme a to four carbon molecules to four carbon molecules oxalic oxaloacetate to form the six carbon molecules to form the six carbon molecules citrate at the third step in the cycle one molecule of carbon dioxide is produced and again the fourth step thus two carbon atoms entered the cycle in the form of this style group attached to coenzyme a and now two carbon two carbons although not the same one have left in the form of carbon dioxide note also that the oxygen that appears in the carbon dioxide is not derived from molecular oxygen but from a carboxyl group of krebs cycle intermediates in the remainder of the cycle the four carbon molecules form formed in reaction four is modified through a series of reactions to produce the four carbon molecules oxaloacetate which form become available to accept the another acetyl group and repeat the cycle now we come to a very crucial fact in addition to producing carbon dioxide intermediate in the krebs cycle donate hydrogen atom to the coenzyme nad ion and fad two hydrogen atoms are transferred to nad ion in each of step 3 4 and 8 and to fad in reaction 6 these hydrogen will be transferred from coenzyme to oxygen in the next stage of fuel metabolism oxidative phosphorylation since oxidative phosphorylation is necessary for regeneration of the hydrogen free from free form of these coenzyme the krebs cycle can operate only under aerobic conditions there is no pathway in the mitochondria that can remove the hydrogen from the coenzyme under the anaerobic conditions so for we have said nothing of how the carbon krebs cycle contribute to the formation of atp in fact the krebs cycle directly produced only one high energy nucleic nucleotide triphosphate this occurs during reaction 5 in which an organic phosphate is transformed to guanine guanine diphosphate gdp to form guanine triphosphate gtp the hydrolysis of gtp like that of atp can provide energy for some energy requiring reactions in additions the energy in gtp energy requires reaction in addition the energy in gtp can be transferred to atp by reaction reaction gtp when guanosine diphosphate plus adp adenosine diphosphate is 
inversely proportional to GDP plus ATP. GDP, guanidine diphosphate plus ATP is, is a reversible action, GDP plus ATP. This reaction is reversible and energy is in ATP can be used in the form of GDP. We can say GDP plus ADP, guanidine triphosphate plus adenosine diphosphate ADP is a reversible reaction in GDP guanidine diphosphate guanosine diphosphate plus adenosine triphosphate adenosine triphosphate plus GDP can make a reaction and release energy with GDP plus ADP this reaction is reversible and the energy in ATP can be used to form GDP from GTP from GDP. One additional GTP is required for this molecule's role, role in protein synthesis and signal transduc transduction. The re retrate the formation of GTP is the only mechanism by which ATP is directly formed within the Krebs cycle. Why then the, is the Krebs cycle so important? Because the hydrogen atoms transferred in the cycle to the concerned enzyme are used in the most pathway oxidatively phosphoryl phosphorylation to form large amount of ATP the net result of the catabolism of, of one acetyl group from acetyl coenzyme A by way of the Krebs cycle can be written as acetyl coenzyme A plus 3 NADIN plus FAD plus GDP plus PI plus 2 water molecules is equal to 2 carbon dioxide plus coenzyme A plus NADH plus 3G. We can understand with this equation. Acetyl coenzyme A plus NADN plus FAD plus FAD plus GDP plus GDP plus PI plus two water molecules are react and make two carbon dioxide ions, two atom of carbon dioxide plus Coenzyme A, coenzyme A plus three NADH plus three NADH plus three hydrogen ion, three hydrogen ion. plus FADH2 plus FADH2 
to plus GDP plus GTP. This is the chemical reaction. We can understand this reaction acetyl coenzyme A plus 3 NAD ion plus FAD. Acetyl coenzyme A plus NAD ion plus FAD plus GDP plus PI plus 2 hydrogen atom. 2 hydrogen, sorry, 2 H2O is equal to 2 carbon dioxide plus coenzyme A plus NADH plus 3 hydrogen ion plus FADH2 plus GTD. This is not DGD, this is the DGP. One more important should be noted, although the major function of the Krebs cycle is the provision of the hydrogen atoms to the oxidation phosphorylation pathway, some of the organic molecules, especially several types of amino acids required by cell, oxaloacetate is one of the intermediate used in this manner when a molecule of oxaloacetate is removed from the Krebs cycle in the process of forming amino acid. It is not available to combine with the acetate fragment of acetyl coenzyme A at the beginning of the cycle. Thus, there must be a way of replacing the oxaloacetate and other Krebs cycle intermediate that are consumed to synthetic pathway carbohydrate provide one source of oxaloacetate replacement by following reaction which convert pyruvate into oxaloacetate con contrast this reaction to equation. <coughs> Pyruvate plus carbon dioxide plus ATP. Pyruvate plus carbon dioxide plus ATP oxaloacetate plus ADP. oxaloacetate plus ADP plus PI. Oxaloacetate plus ADP plus PI Certain amino acids, dryers as, as, as well C, also can be used to form oxaloacetate and other Krebs cycle intermediate. Oxidative phosphorylation, oxidative formulation provides the third and quantitatively most important mechanism by which energy dried from fluid molecules can be transferred to ATP. The basic principle behind the pathway is simple. The energy transferred to ATP is dried from the energy released when hydrogen combines with the molecular oxygen to form water. The source of hydrogen is the NADH plus hydrogen ion and FADH2 plus coenzyme molecules. The net reaction in the involving NADH plus hydrogen ion is half oxygen plus ADH H2O plus NAD53.
one mole of ATP from ADP and PI, there is enough energy released in the above reaction to form more than one molecule of ATP. The protein that mediate oxidative phosphorylation are located in the mitochondria, but unlike the enzymes of the Krebs cycle, which are soluble enzymes in the matrix compartment, the protein that proteins that mediate oxidative phosphorylation are embedded in the inner mitochondrial membrane. These proteins can be divided into two groups. Number one, these those that mediate the series of reactions by which hydrogen is transferred to molecule oxygen, and number two, the, those that couple the energy released by these reactions to the synthesis of ATP. Most of the first group of proteins contain iron and copper cofactor forming proteins known as cytochromes because in pure form they are brightly colored they resemble in their structure the red iron containing hemoglobin molecule which binds and the oxygen in the blood. The cytochrome forms the compound of the electrons transfer, transport chain in which two electrons from the hydrogen atoms are initially transferred entire transferred either from NADH plus hydrogen ion plus FADH2 to one of the element in the electron. The transport chain, these electrons are then successively transferred to other elements in the chain. Often to or from an iron or copper ion until the electrons are finally trans to molecule oxygen which then combines with hydrogen ion proteins to form water. These hydrogen ion like the electrons come from the hydrogen bearing coenzyme having been released from them early in the transport chain when the electrons from the hydrogen atoms are transferred to the cytochromes. In addition to transfer the coenzyme hydrogens to water, this process regenerates the hydrogen free from the coenzymes which then becomes available to accept two more hydrogen from intermediary reactions. Thus the electrons transport chain provide the aerobic mechanism from regeneration regenerating the hydrogen free form of this coenzyme whereas the described earlier the arabic mitochondrial mechanism is coupled in the formation of lactate at each step along the electron transport chain small amount of energy are released which in total amount to the full 53 kilocalorie per mole released from a direct reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. Because this is this energy is released in small steps, it can be linked to the synthesis of several molecules of ATP, each of which repairs only 7 kilocalorie per mole. Overall, 40% of energy released from the chain of reactions is transferred to ATP. The remaining 60% appearing as heat. At three points, along the electron transport chain, ATP is formed. The mechanism by which this occurs is known as the chemiosmotic 
hypothesis the electrons are transformed along along the cytochrome chain the energy released is used to more hydrogen ions from the matrix to side cytocyclic side of the inner mitochondrial membrane thus producing a source of potential energy in the form of point along with the chain com- complex of protein forms a chain a channel through which the highly concentrated hydrogen ions on the cytoplasmic side of membranes can flow back to the matrix side and the process transfer their potential energy to formation of atp from adp and pi metabolism the sum total of chemical processes that occurs in living organisms resulting in growth production of energy elimination of waste waste materials etc and anabolism is that build up of complex molecules next is catabolism catabolism means breakdown of complex molecules fate of organic building block in atp metabolism organic building block molecules monosaccharides amino acids acetate nucleotide base atp and adp plus pi make energy this is the catabolism and uh, when produce energy call anabolism and when energy breakdown from atp to adp plus pi is called catabolism and this produce carbon dioxide and h2o and in condition of anabolic process polymers and other energy rich molecules are produced cellular respiration c6h12o6 plus 6 oxygen plus 36 adp plus 36 pi is equal to 6 co2 plus 6 h2o plus 36 atp this in the cell chemical reactions 6 c6h12o6 plus 6 co2 plus 36 adp plus 36 pi reacts with each other and make carbon dioxide plus water plus 36 atp this release energy in the form of atp basic steps involved in metabolism number 1 glycolysis glycolysis means the breakdown of glucose lysis means breakdown and next step is acetylcholine a formation and third step is krebs cycle and fourth step is electron transport system whichever electrons in a iron condition and transported this is known as electron transport system overview of glycolysis when glucose break down in atp and nadh plus h2 made pyruvic acid and two acetyl coenzyme formation of acetyl coenzyme and break down into co2 nadh plus two hydrogen in next step crab cycle in in a cycle nadh plus hydrogen fads2 and other electrons in a gut electrons transport chain when different electrons transported oxygen and hydrogen and produce energy in 32 or 34 atp 
other metabolic pathway number 1 fat number 2 glycogen number 3 protein we can take first fat fat break down into two stages fatty acid and glycerol fatty acid further reach in acetyl group in the cells and involve in krebs cycle and produce two atp with the help of carbon breakdown pyruvate and also glycerol electron transport system many atp releases we can take glycogen glycogen also break down in the glucose and uh, pro- pyruvate which is derived from glycerol and also from glucose and uh, break down in carbon break down and ma- make acetyl group and reached in krebs cycle and uh, produce energy and transport electron transport system may make and many, many energies molecules we can take third proteins proteins make amino acid and carbon breakdown nh3 ammonia urea waste pro- produce urea as as a waste product but carbon breakdown involve in acetyl group and help in krebs cycle and also produce atp chemical energy high energy electrons glycolysis glucose when break down known as glycolysis it breaks in pyruvate and uh, reaches to krebs cycle and in the chemical changes and chemical energies electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation mito in 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 presence of in this in within mitochondria why the oxidative phosphorylation this release atp and also from krebs cycle atp produced and uh, glycosol mitochondrial cristi why this substrate substrate level phosphorylation atp also produce in this case glycolysis first of all glucose glucose break down in 2 atp and 2 adp and in next stage 2 pg al and further break down in 2 nad and 2 nadh and uh, 4 adp and 4 atp and next in the next step of with chemical reactions two pyruvate formation and carbon releases 2 atp 2 nadh two pyruvate molecules releases and produce energy balance sheet for glycolysis input glucose 2 adp plus pi plus nad ion output pyruvate atp and nad two pyruvate two atp and two nad transaction reaction cytosol transport proteins pyruvate and in mitochondrion nadh and hydrogen ion carbon dioxide release coenzyme a also produce and further acetyl coenzyme a formation transition reaction krebs cycle citric acid transition reactions citric acid cycle as early i described in the equations and the formulation citric acid cycle 3 nad 3 nad cycle fad plus fads2 two carbon dioxide release adp produce atp in citric acid cycle 
कोएंजाइम ए कार्बन रिलीजेस एसिटाइल कोएंजाइम ए कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रिलीजेस एन ए डी एच प्लस एन ए डी आयन एंड मेक पायरुवेट अल्टीमेटली रिलीज एनर्जी इन फॉर्म ऑफ ए टी पी क्रैप साइकिल साइट्रिक एसिड साइकिल नेक्स्ट इज द बैलेंस शीट फॉर द ट्रांजिशन ऑफ रिएक्शन ऑफ क्रैप साइकिल इनपुट इज टू पायरुवेट टू ए डी पी प्लस टू पी आई एट एन ए डी आयन प्लस टू एफ ए डी एंड द आउट ऑफ आउटपुट ऑफ दिस केमिकल रिएक्शन इज सिक्स कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड टू ए टी पी एनर्जी एट एन ए डी एच एंड टू एफ ए डी एच टू क्रैप साइकिल वी कैन डिस्क्राइब मल्टीपल टाइम्स इन द क्रैप साइकिल इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड कॉम्प्लिकेटेड साइकिल हैंडल्स अदर सबस्टेट इंटरमीडिएट मॉलिक्यूल्स यूज प्रोटीन्स एंड लिपिड्स रिप्लेनिशमेंट ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट नेसेसरी एसिटाइल को एंजाइम ए अक्जेलिक एसिड फॉर्मेशन एंड अल्टीमेटली प्रोड्यूस एनर्जी क्रेप साइकिल टेक टू कंप्लीट साइकिल्स एट स्टेप्स ईच विद एन एंजाइम अक्जेलो एसिटिक एसिड को एसिटाइल को एंजाइम है and acetyl coenzyme in three step and third step we can say this is the third step of xaloacetic acid nadh fadh2 and the citric acid carbon dioxide release nadh and atp produce co2 and nadh this cycle is a circular cycle producing acetyl coenzyme a and citric acid and releases carbon dioxide and produce atp oxaloacetic acid oxidative phosphorylation described earlier each glucose molecules carbon dioxide six molecules and nds 10 molecules fads 2 atp 4 molecules electron transport system co2 6 NADH10, FADH2, ATP4 used to make ATP. NADH and FADH2 produce energy with the help or with the main function of ATP. Electron transport system, proton discharge electron receptors generate. atp this is the fourth step fourth step of the krebs cycle electron transport system nadh nad hydrogen ion and in the lumen hydrogen ion 2h half oxygen and water release in the mitochondria and matrix in intermembranous spaces hydrogen ion releases and uh, next condition mitochondrial matrix intermembranous spaces hydrogen ion reaches many hydrogen ion reaches in the intermediate membrane spaces and uh, in mit mitochondrial matrix hydrogen ion adp plus pi atp and hydrogen resided and this atp produce energy electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation electrons are delivered to a o forming o attracts hydrogen ion to form h2o electrons are delivered to o forming o negative this is the oxygen ion oxygen ion with the help of hydrogen ion to form h2o electronic energy gradient transfer to energy from nadh plus hydrogen ion and fadh2 oxygen releases large amount of energy 
This energy is released in a stepwise manner through the electron transport chain. ATP synthesis. Two major parts connected by rod rotor in the inner mitochondrial membrane, knob in the matrix, works like an iron pump in reverse. Net ATP yield. 34 to 36 molecules ATP for every glucose molecules produced about 40% of efficiency. ATP yield from the basically glucose breakdown or yeah, other, other we can say the glucose molecules produce ATP in 34 to 36 molecule ATP for every glucose molecules or otherwise we can say one glucose molecule produce 34 to 36 ATP molecules and produce energy. Overall ATP production. Electron transport system 34, citric acid cycle 2, glycolysis 2, subtotal 38, and NDH transport into mitochondrion minus 2, total is 36. Fermentation. Fermentation is the anaerobic respiration. Lactic acid fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation in case of lactic acid fermentation, glucose breakdown. We can say this is the glycolysis and make NADH and NADH ion, NAD ion and NADH ion and make two pyruvate and further it is NADH and NAD ion lactic acid fermentation two lactic two lactic lactic acid produce in this condition glucose breakdown glycolysis and NAD ion and NADH ion NAD ion plus NADH ion produce lactic acid fermentation and produce two lactic acid with the help of two pyruvate glucose anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration what is glucose glucose is the basic glucose in a anaerobic condition makes pyruvate in both condition and NO2 ethanol or lactate. Aerobic respiration with the oxygen acetyl coenzyme with, with the help of Krebs cycle in mitochondria. Welcome back. We will be discussing about the properties of cardiac muscles. So, all of us uh, know that there are three types of muscles can be seen in the body. These are skeletal muscle, smooth muscles and cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles are also like, uh, all like skeletal muscle. Cardiac muscles are also involuntary striated muscle. Involuntary, they are involuntary striated muscle and which are found in the wall of the heart, specifically in the myocardium. Now, cardiac muscles like skeletal muscle, these are striated muscles, there are cross striations are seen in the cardiac muscle. That is, there is alternate segments of thick and thin protein filaments. So, like, uh, like skeletal muscle, Cardiac muscle also is having, there are striations are formed in the cardiac muscle, there are thick and thin protein filaments can be seen in the cardiac muscle. Now, another important feature of cardiac muscle is, 
it is it can resist high fatigue that is it can resist highly to fatigue that is it has large number of mitochondria enabling continuous aerobic respiration via oxidative phosphorylation and numerous myoglobin also and a good blood supply which provide nutrients and oxygen because of all these five features cardiac muscles are highly resistant to fatigue and highly resistant to fatigue now so in order to in there will be like any other muscle it's having blood supply also a good blood supply it is having a good vascular supply and vascular supply it is, is uh, done by the coronary arteries this vascular supply is done by the coronary arteries to fulfill this function so cardiac muscles are like all tissues in the body rely on ample of blood supply to deliver oxygen and nutrients and to remove the waste product such as carbon dioxide now once we see the structure or anatomy of the cardiac muscles these are these cells are y shaped cells and are shorten and wider than the skeletal muscle cells so shorten y shaped cells and wider than that of skeletal muscles and usually these are a single nucleated cells a mononucleated cells cells are y shaped mononucleated cells now the arrangement of the proteins like actin and myosin in almost similar of to that of the striated muscle yes they may, that's why they are these are also striated muscle almost similar to the, this having the arrangement of actin and myosin is almost similar to the skeletal muscle or skeletal striated muscle now once you see the electron through the electron microscopy you can see almost similar structure of the skeletal muscle like actin filaments are lighter and they are uh, and they form the that is uh, they form the i band at the same time the myosin filaments they are thicker filaments and darker filaments and they form the a band now another feature of the another feature of the cardiac muscle is that some cardiac muscles are autorhythmic that is they can contract even in the absence of any neural innervation these type of muscles are called these type of cells are called pacemaker cells usually there are two types of cells are the in the in the cardiac muscle there are pacemaker cells separate types of cells are called pacemaker cells are seen in the cardiac muscles so these cells can contract themselves without any innervation now there is a structure called the, the t tubules t tubules like skeletal muscle this this uh, this cardiac muscle is also having t tubules but here t tubules play a critical role in excitation contraction coupling t tubules in the cardiac muscles are larger broader and run along the z disc there are few t tubules in comparison with the there are few t tubules once we compare the skeletal muscle number of skeletal muscle t tubules there will be the number of t tubules are less in in case of cardiac muscle and cardiac muscle forms a triad uh, cardiac muscle in the usually the skeletal muscle form a, di a triad but in case of cardiac muscle it forms a dyad so cardiac muscle forms a dyad instead of triad formed between the t tubules and sarcoplasmic reticulum in the skeletal muscle so instead of uh, tri uh, triad the cardiac muscle is having dyad now there are intercalated disc are seen in the cardiac muscle and these are located between the cardiac muscle cells under light microscopy intercalated disc appear as a thin typically dark staining lines dividing the adjacent cardiac muscle cells and the intercalated disc run perpendicular to the direction of the muscle fiber so intercalated disc are present and which is seen perpendicular to the it runs perpendicular to the direction of the muscle fiber under light microscopy intercalated disc uh, appear as thin last la, uh, thin dark staining lines dividing the adjacent cardiac muscle cells and it is located between these cardiac muscle cells now this these contain the gap junctions which provide the communicating channels between the cells and intercalated disc allows the waves of depolarization to seep 
cross the cells thus synchronizing the muscles contraction now the properties of the properties of cardiac muscle cells cell membrane differ from those of the skeletal muscle cell membrane as a result individual tissues cannot undergo wave summation and the cardiac muscle tissue cannot produce a tetanic contraction this difference is important because a heart is a sustained in in as if the heart is going for a tight sustained tetanic contraction it will affect the, uh, the its blood flow or uh, blood pump now once we go through the properties of cardiac muscle there are four properties commonly seen in the cardiac muscle these are excitability contractibility conductivity and rhythmicity so excitability is the ability of the cardiac muscle to respond to a stimulus that is but the twitch and some more summation does not occur and tetanus is not possible when compared to the skeletal muscle now contractibility contractility is the cardiac muscle has the ability to contract isometrically and isotonically and contractility obeys all or none law and the starling law so contractibility contractility cardiac muscle has ability to contract isometrically and isotonically and contractility obeys the both laws that is uh, all or none law and the starling law conductivity is the ability of the myocardial fibers to spread the conduction along the conduction system all over the heart the myocardial fibers vary in their conductivity but generally they have high conductive velocity so conductivity then rhythmicity rhythmicity means it is the ability of the heart to contract with regular interval of relaxation that is Uh, that is there is a this auto rhythmicity can be seen the cardiac muscle as any other conductive tissue possess an auto rhythmic property which is the, which is the ability to conduct and contract the regularly without any external stimulus in spite of the cardiac auto rhythmicity the heart is still being adjusted by autonomic nervous system and the hormones to adjust the cardiac muscle function in a certain condi- in certain condition for example conditions like stress so cardiac muscle the properties of cardiac muscle there are four main properties are the they are excitability ability to cardiac muscle to respond to the stimulus is called excitability then contractibility ability to contract isometrically and isotonically and it obeys starling law and uh, all or none law the third co- property is the conductivity it is the ability of the myocardial fibers to spread or for the conduction along the conduction system all, all over the heart and the rhythmicity ability of it is the ability of the heart to contract with regular interval of relaxation it is called aut- uh, rhythmicity and cardiac muscles like Uh, as any other conductive tissue possesses an auto rhythmic property so there are two types of cardiac muscles there are structural or contractile muscles are present in the uh, there are two types of cardiac muscles are the these are the first one is structural and contractile muscle cells muscles and second one is pacemaker cells now the conducting system of the heart conducting system we already discussed once we were discussing about the cardiac the cardiac cycle conducting system starting from the sa node then there is internodal pathways are the then there is av node then from the av node there is av bundle or bundle of the his bundle of his is there from their bundle branches are there from there the impulses pass to the purkinje fibers and enter the heart wall especially in the uh, ventricles in this session we discussed about the cardiac muscles cardiac muscles are involuntary striated muscles which is seen at the wall of the heart now this muscle the another important peculiarity of this muscle is that it can it can uh, it is resistance to fatigue so it is having because the because of the presence of mitochondria it is resistant to fatigue like any other muscles like any other like skeletal muscle it also contain the striations like thick and thin filaments 
are there in the muscles and and it is having a good blood supply blood supply is through the coronary arteries then we discussed about its shape this uh, shape of the cardiac muscle is y shaped y shaped and these are mononucleated and it contain both actin and myosin like almost like uh, then almost like the cardiac uh, skeletal muscle and once we see electron microscopy this having actin and fil myosin filament which form the a band and i band then we discussed about its error regarding the pacemaker cells there are cells which is having autorhythmic property these are called pacemaker cells of the heart then we discussed about the t tubules and instead of uh, instead of triad this cardiac muscle forms dyad then there are intercalated disc which is runs parallelly which is then perpendicular to the direction of the muscle fiber and uh, this these are located between the cardiac muscle cells then we discussed about the properties of cardiac muscle which include the excitability contractility conductivity conductivity and rhythmicity we discussed about the properties of cardiac muscle the properties include excitability like ability of the cardiac muscle to respond to the stimulus then contractibility that is like ability to contract isometrically and isotonically conductivity that is ability for conduction and rhythmically rhythmicity that is ability to the muscle to contract within a regular interval then we discussed about the types of cardiac muscle like structural and contractile and pacemaker cells which is have which shows auto rhythmicity then we discussed about the conducting system including sa node then uh, internodal pathways av node bundle of his bundle branches and purkinje fibers and these are some references you can go through the references for further studies thank you